Sorry about that, we've all seen the videos about Devin on the internet by now, whether you're scared or unimpressed or enthusiastic, I started to notice something on my feed around the discussion around Devin, and it's around this guy. That's Scott Wu, the co-founder and CEO of Cognition, the company that makes Devin. And people started pulling a bunch of lore around this guy from his teenage years on the internet. I don't know if you've seen these pictures or videos circulating online. If you haven't, the first one is from Code Forces, a platform that hosts the scores of competitive programmers, and Scott is a legendary grandmaster there. And the second one is from a math quiz 14 years ago where he won. Continues, what is the letter in the 2010th position? Scott. A. A is the correct answer. Now, the reason why I think you may have seen this is because this is what my feed looks like on the internet. Now that you have seen a glimpse of who Scott is and a glimpse of the Devin demo, you know that Devin is definitely going to come and crush you, right? That's the whole point. And I think that's the problem. People are not really analyzing Devin for the product that it is simply because it's not released yet, but they are just analyzing it from a lot of external information that we have around Cognition and Devin right now. One of them being the lore of the founder. I was watching this video from Theo at t3.gg where he's over analyzing every bit of content that's available from Devin and he points out that responses are between 40 minutes to an hour apart from one another. Again with the timestamp thing, so she started at 12.59 and finally had an answer that worked at 1.41. So that was 42 minutes to implement things that it learned from a blog post. That sounds roughly what a decent engineer would do, and it would actually be code that they understood. He's also noticing that the product released by Devin is full of errors on the console log, and Devin still requires a lot of user input to work properly. I, I, I'm curious why he says Devin thinks it should be implemented on the homepage here. This seems like some very specific methods of communicating with the AI here. Without the proper scrutiny of Devin, we're putting it on this giga pedestal right now, and we're just evaluating it based off of really arbitrary metrics. One of them being the law around the founder. When he puts his product and its company at such a high level of elevation, and you know that they're gonna win, you know that people are gonna look up to them, you know that people are gonna fear them, you know that it's gonna crush you, it's like the Lizan Al Gaib. What are we doing? Like bow down to your profit. And the team at Cognition, they realize the team that they have. They built it like this on purpose. They probably work really well together. A lot of them have similar backgrounds with competitive programming, competitive math. And this is what the job listing looks like. Our founding team has 10 IOI gold medals and includes leaders and builders who have worked on cutting edge, yada, yada, yada. And you can tell that they're including this kind of information on their recruiting page just because they want to hire people like them who are going to be working at a high caliber, which is fine. But then this is my Twitter and this is the conversation around this piece of information on the hiring page. And to backtrack slightly, Scott Wu looks like a totally okay guy. He's been competitive since a very young age around math and coding. And that's great, like good for him. And But then we have all this sort of silliness surrounded around him, like it's some sort of a story. And then this other guy from Harvard also comes out with some silly story again. Sophomore year at Harvard, my team was first placed in a competition that our machine learning class was having, and I was feeling pretty good. Then at 1 a.m., Scott Wu made a few submissions and wrecked us. Best of luck to this amazing team. Oh, this story. I knew this was the same Scott who I interviewed with. I still remember quaking after finding out bro's IOI history. And then I remember doing this interview. It was on feature engineering and should have been answered on fr from first principles. But I remember not having good answers. But that's not the fun part. As I was speaking or after I asked a question, I'd see Scott think a teraflops a second. Bro was built different. Well, that day actually scared me as I found out that some people just work off a different magnitude. <laughs> I think we love to choose a hero. History has shown us with startups and companies that we love to have a chosen one who's going to be spending all their time in early 20s, early 30s dedicated to this product, dedicated to this company. Sacrifice more than any of us will ever be sacrificing. And then we're going to be on the sidelines just clapping for that one individual, celebrating them. Well, maybe clapping until they reveal who they are and whether we approve of who they are as people.
We love to bring people up. We love to tear people down. That's what we do. It's nothing new. But I think in this stage of AI, where we're juggling whether we should be participating in this, whether we should be fearing this, whether we should be excited about this, can we actually just take a second to see whether the products work well, whether they're useful? Even Sam Altman was talking about this recently, where he was saying that people were just up in arms about ChatGPT doing so much, but people just resumed about their day and life just resumed as normal. AGI is coming tomorrow. Jo there are no jobs by the end of the year. And now people are like, why is it so slow? Uh and I think that's right. We are just blowing things out of proportion based off of people's profiles and random information online. And I also get it. Devin caused a lot of fear, overexcitement maybe, from people that are running companies, but fear from software engineers because it's a window into an eventual future down the line. But with the amount of overexcitement and unnecessary information, around this demo. Maybe we're just blowing this piece of information out of proportion. The demo is okay. There's a bunch of university students right now considering whether they should be doing computer science, high schoolers considering whether they should be jumping into computer science, current software engineers checking whether McDonald's still hires. Like this teraflop calculator, human mentat is coming for you somehow. We, we should just stop focusing on the unnecessary data points out there. Let me know in the comments what you think, whether this is noisy to you, whether this was relevant information to you about Scott Wu, about Cognition, about Devin. Um, yeah, I'll see you later.